Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Kulu Linux and uh, I've been working around the clock since I've made the last video no sleep as well as usual but I'm used to that um, so today I'm officially labeling this unity build of mine as the alpha one the one you saw was a very early alpha, more like a pre-alpha video this is probably more of a alpha one phase now a lot of people have asked why unity why am i working on unity what happened to xfce and lxde and blah 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 well you know i'm i am working on xfce i'm also working on lxde i'm actually working on two different versions of xfce but i do also find myself getting bored with xfce and you know um i kind of uh sometimes just need a break from the usual rut and so you know I decide to do something different and as far as I know I don't think anybody's made a unity build apart from Ubuntu I mean lots of users customize the unity and so forth but I don't think anybody's officially put out a unity I'm not sure about that but um, and I like doing things that other people aren't doing you know so uh, I figured well it's something new to play with and uh, yes yeah, so I started working on it I'm not a big big fan of unity but uh, especially because it's so limited in design jeez the crap I have to go through just to enable something like a transparent bar you won't believe the crap I have to go through um, but that's besides the point the point is I am making it um, so I might as well go all out and do a very good job and um, I also saw somebody posting an, uh, a comment there about um, Nautilus not being or Nautilus being useless and uh, I should use Nemo instead well um, you know Nautilus is quite powerful if you know what you're doing I think actually way more powerful than Nemo if you really know what you're doing um, I, I've been able to do quite a lot with it you know I've, I've enabled the uh, open as administrator I've got scan for threats for antiviruses open in terminal share e uh, email if you um, go to like files um, you've got the compress and extract as well, we've got post to paste bin there's a whole bunch of other extensions you can enable as well you can right click images set as wallpaper, you can convert audio clips, convert images you can edit rotate images, All of most of these I've enabled already so it's actually very powerful once you actually know what you're doing and you're creating uh, some of these custom scripts and so forth you know um, so I've got Nautilus working very nicely and I'll probably still carry on working with that um, I have also started with the theming you know this this actually the theming is very beautiful as you can see I've got the top panel transparent I've got the side panel transparent I've also made the side panel much much smaller so you can fit a lot more icons in and it's sort of out of the way almost when you're working on a window uh, working on so anything you don't have this uh, big ass panel taking a chunk of the screen so that's I can even make it smaller but I think this is a good size you know I've got um, even transparency on the normal windows I've got obviously I've got enabled the wobbly windows it doesn't really use much RAM at all and it does look make look at make um, unity look funky I mean if you're gonna be running unity you're gonna be using a kick-ass PC nobody with an old PC is going to be running unity so effects shouldn't be a problem at all besides you can always switch them off anyway um, so yeah I've got the wobbly window effect I've got uh, the cube obviously running you know so that's pretty cool with reflections and everything all the usual stuff I like enabling on Makulu I've got uh, the um, cylinder cube as well I'm still busy working on that um, and then I've got the top top panel transp the top uh, title panel or title bar. It's nice and transparent. It kind of matches the top top panel as well. So that's quite cool. So if you maximize it, it stays transparent on top there. You minimize it's transparent in the window. You can see the background completely through it. You know. Um, actually, I wanted to make this panel a lot more transparent. It is transparent, just not as much as the top as the top panel and the title bar I wanted to make this one a lot more transparent but then the icons kind of don't really blend you know so as is now they, they blend more than anything else and it is transparent and I mean it is a panel bar it's supposed to stand out you know so I figured it's actually quite a nice look like this 
you know. And this this title, uh, this panel bar changes w color and changes with the wallpaper. At the moment it's sort of a greeny color. If I enable a brown wallpaper, it goes like a browny color and so forth. So it does change as well. But um, I really like this look, and I've I don't know if you've noticed. I'm look. I'm in Virtual Box. I've also been working on a lot of uh, speed enhancements for Unity, the actual Unity desktop. So I don't know if you're actually noticing how fast it is. So I've been working a lot on that because I know Unity can be extremely slow on PCs. One of the big things I see a lot of people moan about online is, you know, that it's a sluggish uh, desktop to run. So, um, so I've spent some time on that as well. Um, so it's shaping up to be quite nice, you know. At the moment, obviously, I'm showing off the themes because that's what I'm working on. Really, at this point in time, I'm, I'm really uh, just enhancing the themes and the look a lot. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, that is something that I see a lot of users online struggle with. Um, I mean, you can go do a sh search online and you'll just find thread after thread after thread of people saying this isn't supported in 1404 anymore, can't do this, can't do that, can't make top panel bar transparent. And apparently you can't. I've, I've, I've searched everywhere. So I had to do a lot of hacking to actually get it to look like this. Um, so I'll probably make a couple of themes, maybe add a bit of transparency simply because you can't do it so I'll do it um, I've also enabled these uh, controls in both the um, usually you only see them in the ex ex uh, maximized window you don't really see them in minimized I enabled that um, I've also added some transparency to the menus actually if you hover you can kind of see the background through it so some of the menus are transparent as well as the drop down menus they so got a bit of transparency on them as well you know I'm a big freak with transparency I love it I love just having everything sort of look modern so in general all over you're gonna see a lot of transparency you know just it always just adds to the beauty of the system especially when you have a really nice wallpaper like that one that's a really nice wallpaper it really does enhance the whole um, desktop effect when you have a bit of transparency and you can always see the wallpaper. Um, the last video I showed was Cairo Dock. So if I add Cairo, Cairo Dock, it is installed but it's not enabled by default. I had it switched on obviously in the last video because I was kind of busy working on it. So users that want it can easily turn it on. Just go to Startup Applications, Startup Applications, and you can just tick it there. I have put the entry there, I just left it unticked. Um, so by default it won't pop up but you can easily switch it on you know there are people out there that prefer the dock and even this is transparent if you see what I mean I've added transparency to that as well at least to the menus there so uh, guys that do like the dock it is it built in it's already customized I'll customize some more put some nice stuff in there so you can switch that on by default if you want I however do not really like docks so I will leave it off by default. So um, I've installed all the all the um, regular software. Actually, in that case, let me just get that dock in here, so I can just show you. It's easier just throwing showing through that menu. All the default uh, software that Makula usually has. Steam is on. Steam is installed. Play on Linux is installed. You've got a couple of games there that you can play. Um, I'm still busy with the graphics. I think I'm going to install Pinter and uh, my paint I like those two so I'll, I'll probably put those in uh, you got Google Chrome and I'll still do the whole Netflix thing so I'll, I'll get to that in a bit and popcorn time I'll get to that as well pigeon is the default uh, audio uh, the default uh, messenger um, Thunderbird is the default mail client you got the WPS office suite I'll put a, a, a doc viewer there as well for PDF files um, audacious default media player VLC is the default uh, uh, video player and it does have DVD support because I know that's also an issue in, in Ubuntu I fixed that that DVD should play with no no issues there um, yeah so it, it also get a built-in firewall and you get a built-in antivirus obviously variety wallpaper changer controls the the wallpapers and I've put that on the right of the screen you can just scroll up and down and choose a wallpaper so that's pretty cool. Um, 
so yeah you get all the default stuff that you usually get wine is fully installed you'll get all the default software you usually get in makulu AppGrid is obviously the the default software manager it is in the side panel as well um, it's always a, a nice I like it I prefer it over the default uh, the default uh, Ubuntu software center it's much faster much more lightweight you know so yeah that's pretty cool GDB obviously is a package manager so um, those guys that usually use Makulu you'll be right at home with the software it's, it's all the very same stuff I might change make one or two changes maybe one or two items that do run better on Ubuntu by default I might add I'm still playing with the software uh, soft all the software options but uh, the release is shaping up nicely remember this is still an alpha build I'm going to be spending a lot of time on themes and things and especially on Nautilus I really want Nautilus to shine um, so yeah I think this is going to be a killer build for the guys that do like unity because you know I know um, a lot of the current Makulu users are obviously not very much into unity maybe not or maybe they've never tried it or maybe they just don't like Ubuntu I don't know but um, you know it is something different and it's always good to try different stuff at least you could say you've been there you've tried it you did it and you either liked it or you didn't like it but there's also a lot of guys that do like Ubuntu they just might not like certain things or they might not even know how to customize and you know that kind of thing so it's always nice to also attract users that that like that you know variety is always good I mean you can never go wrong with having too much uh, options and so this will be just another option basically um, yeah so at the end of the day I really want Makulu to stand for something that you know we did this and then I did that and then I went the extra mile and did this as well um, I did say 2015 is the year for me I'm going to be working on multiple multiple desktops and projects and I'm just gonna go all out I don't care about sleep that can come in time for now I'm just gonna do as much work as I possibly can put out as much as I possibly can um, and make sure I do a very good job with all of it so at the end of 2015 when they look back on distros there must be no contest at all they must say wow that guy really worked hard and you know his work just showed it showed in his work and that's what I want for 2015 um, so yeah so anyway this is uh, Jacques showing off the new unity that's coming up soon as you can see it's already looking really really nice I love it um, well I don't really love unity I just love the being able to play with something new and um, yeah something for you guys to look forward to especially the unity lovers so yeah I will probably make some more videos along the way for now this is it cheers